13, up to 13 is required. Okay. okay. After 13 is extra credit for whatever you happen to get. Okay. Quadratic is what I would do. What am I solving for when I use my quadratic formula here? I'm solving for cosine of x. I'm not solving for x. So I'm going to find out what the cosine of x is equal to. Well, that is negative b, so that's going to be 2.3 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 2.3 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 2.1, all divided by 2 times a, which is 1. All right, let's plug all that into the calculator. There it is. I was going to say, I sure hope it's in there, because I don't want to do that much. which turned out to be a nice square root, actually. So I'll have 2.3 plus or minus 3.7 divided by 2. When I do the plus 1, 2.3 plus 3.7 divided by 2, I get that the cosine of x equals 3. When I do the minus 1, I get that the cosine of x is equal negative 0.7. Sorry, I was wrong. It's not a nice number. Some people's it is. Was it yours? Uh, yeah, yours was nice. Yours came out to be a half. Mine isn't. All right. What can you tell me about this? Okay, that works. So if I'm going to, she's telling me that 3 is not in the domain of my arc cosine. So if I take the inverse cosine of both sides, I'm going to be taking the inverse cosine of 3. That's not possible. I can't do it. 3 is not in the domain. Another thing, way to think of it is your cosine of x values only go from negative 1 to 1. So 3 is not in there at all. So this thing is not possible. So you can either think of it as it's not in the range of the cosine or it's not in the domain of the arc cosine. When you do it on your calculator, it will tell you it's not in the domain because you're doing it with an arc cosine. What about this one? What do I do to it? Well, remember what I did when it was just negative one fourth? What did I do? Right, so the inverse cosine, so x is equal to the arc cosine of negative 0.7. That's one of my answers. That's one of the nice things about cosine. Whenever you do one, what quadrant is this in? Or do you want to just use the, we know the other one is always going to be what? 2 pi minus, the other one will be. So the, this one is in quadrant 2, the one in quadrant 3, 3, will be 2 pi minus the arc cosine of negative 0.7. So that's our other x. So those are our two possibilities for x. Notice there are only two, because although I had both a positive and a negative, the positive one was not possible, but the negative one was. So that's why there are only two answers to it. If I end up with a positive one that's possible and a negative one that's possible, then I can end up